Hey loves, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day today. Today, I just wanted to remind you that if you have the desire for your specific person, then you are meant to be with them because desires are automatic in that way and are fully in dependence of the state that you are coming from. And that's actually why in a lot of my videos that I talk about this movement from desire to satisfaction. So when we are desiring something, again, it's coming from the state that we are in currently. And again, it means that you and your SP are meant to be together. But I'll give you an example of this. So let's say, and this is kind of a Neville Goddard idea. Um, no, it actually is. So when you are, let's say right now, you were to be imprisoned on a deserted island, right? What is the first thing that you would automatically desire in that way? You would instantly be desiring freedom, right? That's what you would want because you are in the state of being on this deserted island. So you would desire that freedom and that means it's meant for you. Or think about the idea of if you're really hungry, you're going to see that you then desire food in that way, right? The state that you're coming from is what is giving rise to these desires. Again, reiterating that it means you're absolutely meant for that thing. But as we shift, so again, as we have that desire, we shift it to satisfaction. So as soon as we have that desire for a specific person and we move it to a feeling of already being with them, we'll see things around us actually begin to shift, again, aligning with it, but in the essence of changing the state and almost changing desire. Because remember, when we have these desires, so the desire for your specific person is a gift that you are given automatically because it's the state that you are coming from. But as we begin to shift and move states again, more in accordance to that idea, we'll see that our mind and what we feel is possible or our thoughts upon abundance actually get larger and larger and we see our mind and subconscious opens up to all of these new amazing and positive realities kind of going off of the last video i uh, mentioned the more we actually fall into this state the easier it's actually going to become to do and again that's why i always say that manifestation of anything especially a specific person is meant to be easy and effortless so let's say right now we have the intense desire for our specific person and when this happens and something a feeling that I would say everyone literally every single person who desires someone is going to get into we may initially feel as if our specific person is out of our league or you've heard the term being put on a pedestal basically we are thinking and feeling as if there is something outside of us that is somehow better than our internal state or more powerful but as you begin to shift states you'll actually see this idea begin to reverse. So as you begin to assume the state of someone who is loved and abundant, you're gonna see that you actually, the pedestal switches and you are the one who feels yourself onto that pedestal. Because again, in the, in the past, the desire was before that feeling of satisfaction that we wanna move into. And once you feel as if you and your specific person are already together, how could you not take up that pedestal of someone who is abundant, confident, loved, committed to, right? You're going to see that begin to switch. Because again, as you desire something or as you're in a current state, you desire something specific. And then as you switch that state, your desire gets fulfilled and you again feel as if you already have it. And once you get into this new state, you will begin again, like I was talking about, you now can see and feel from a more abundant and positive perspective, you'll be able to ask for exactly what you want. So maybe at the beginning you're thinking, I want my specific person and that's, if I could just have them right now, I know they don't act in the way that I want or it may not be the perfect relationship, that's what I want right here and now. But as you sh uh, shift states, you'll find that you'll be like, no, actually, I feel worthy and abundant to ask for everything or anything I could ever want. And you'll find that then you begin, um, I don't wanna say the word demanding, but basically demanding your reality to reflect and be exactly what you are assuming and feeling internally. Because your subconscious mind is going to give you 
literally anything that you ask of it. And so why not get into that bold and abundant state that you ask for whatever it is that you want. Don't ask for the Oh, don't ask for $10,000 because you think that's what you deserve. Ask for a hundred thousand, a million, a billion, literally the more, I would even say the more bold, the idea, the more likely you're even to get it, which isn't true because anything you assume is going to be. But when you ask for like a billion dollars, how does that make you feel internally? When you ask for your specific person in the exact way that you want and think upon the idea or reality and assume it that it's already here, how does that make you feel? That makes you feel really, really good, maybe gets your heart racing, makes you feel, again, it's easier to get into that state sometimes because it like gets you going and you can really, really feel as if you're there with your SP in that perfect relationship because it is so exciting awesome, amazing, and abundant to feel that way. So no matter what, I never want you to accept something in your reality um, that you just, that you feel like you deserve. Like if you want a million dollars, you're like, I only feel like I want a hundred thousand. No, ask for the million, ask for the billion, ask for your specific person, whoever it is that you want with no limit in the exact way that you desire. Because again, your reality is going to give you exactly what you ask for. And the funny thing is, and kind of, again, going off my previous video and things becoming really, really easy, as you begin to assume the state with your specific person or with these amazing and abundant manifestations, whatever they may be, you are going to find that it almost becomes or feels like it's too easy. Like it's really, really crazy and bizarre, but as you assume the new state, again, your desire comes from your state, you're going to get into that feeling that actually being with your specific person, that's almost too easy, which further gives rise to the idea that you're going to ask for exactly what you want. But you're almost going to get into this sensation that everything, and this is totally the wish fulfilled, that everything is on a shelf next to you. And it's so easy. It's right there. All you have to do is grab it and it's gonna be in your reality. And when you get into that state, again, that is heavily the wish fulfilled, and that is heavily an awesome and amazing state to be in, because that's when you begin to really fulfill and feel the patience, because if you feel like right there next to you is your specific person, is the million dollars, and all you have to do is reach out and grab it, you're not going to feel any sort of urgency, because right, you already have it. It's already on a shelf right next to you. What else is there to do? In the same way that everything in your house is on a shelf, on a bookcase, whatever it is, all you have to do is go over and grab it. There's no effort. There's no doesn't have to be hard, doesn't have to be difficult. And again, reiterating my previous video, if you haven't seen it, I would absolutely go and see it. Um, just really reiterating that the ease and effortlessness uh, that comes from assuming the state. So again, remember, because it, can, it cannot feel hard to get something, you feel as if you already have. So always keep this in mind. And remember, if you are, again, the more you assume the state, the more you're going to switch, kind of understand and know those desires and really be able to ask from a truly abundant mindset for anything that you want. And you're going to see it becomes so, so much easier. So I guess manifestation being easy and effortless is a theme that I've kind of been on um, these past couple days. But if you did have any questions on it, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Remember, you can also reach out to me on my website if you wanted one-on-one -on -one coaching to work more deeply and really make it more easy and effortless for you. Just head over to kyleaugustcoaching.com. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video. And then also don't forget to subscribe. Uh, but like always, I'm so excited for you guys to try this out and then make your manifestation easy and effortless. Uh, but thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out today. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.